All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very important video. I have some big news also in this video to share with you guys. But first, I just want to thank all you guys. We actually recently hit 90,000 subscribers, literally 10K subscribers in the last week and a half. So that's just insane. I, I just remember back when my channel got hacked in June 12th and to now see it grow and do even better than it did before, it's just, it's just, it's awesome, it's awesome. So um, yeah, let me break down my setup today. Everything that I'm talking about today will be listed down in the description below, so um, all the links will be down there, so make sure to check that out. Before we start this video, this video is actually sponsored by Sweetwater. They are um, helping me with this video. I'm actually a part of their affiliate program. And you can find all of the products with the links down in the description below to bring you over to Sweetwater's website. Make sure to go check that stuff out. Here we go. So let's start with my in-ear monitors. These are the B Singer M100 Pros. I also have the regular ones, but I like the Pros better because it definitely has a more intense uh, sound isolation when you put them on, which for me, I, I love that. It's from a company called BASN, and for the price of these, it's just amazing. These get the job done, and they are really affordable. Moving on to my hi-hat. My hi-hat is a 14-inch A-Custom hi-hat. My Crash is a 15-inch A-Custom Zildjian. My ride, this is actually, I found this ride at my grandfather's church a while back. It's very, very old. It's a, it's a Zildjian ZBT. It's a 20 inch. My crash over here is a 14 inch dark thing crash from K Customs by Zildjian. I have a block here on top of my stack and I know you guys definitely want it. Here we go. The stack is a it is the HH Thin Crash from Sabian that's cracked. And underneath it is a and underneath it is a 14 inch ion symbol. That's like like $12 on Amazon. Yeah, that, that's that's what this is. So I, I love the sound of this this little thing right here. On my times I usually switch between Remo Emperors. I have them over there in my bag. But right now I got on the Aquarian Force Tens. Um, my toms are a 10, 12, and 14. It's a 22 inch bass drum. And I have a Remo Power Stroke on there. And I have literally nothing on this one. I have it just completely open. I just like the way the bass sounds with the back open. So yeah. Moving on to my snare. This is actually a custom snare that I found at a music store near me. It's by JJ Drums. It's a 14 by seven. The head that I have on here is a Remo Power Stroke 3 clear with a clear Aquarian dot in the middle of it. And I have three drum dots on it to like really help take away the ring. And you guys have been wondering how I tune my drums. I'm actually going to leave you can click right up here, and it'll take you to a video of me breaking down exactly how I tune drums, like the easiest way to tune drums for me that I found out. Yeah, so the hardware is all Yamaha hardware. The cymbal stands, the clamps for them, even the clamps for, that's holding my four times, all Yamaha. I have an Iron Cobra 600 uh, bass pedal. It's actually a double pedal, but if you guys checked out Alex Rudinger reaction, my most recent one, you, you see why I have the double pedal in the corner. But I'm gonna get back to it, trust me, I'm gonna get back to it. <laughs> so the computer that I mix and record drums into is the Mac desktop. Yeah, so my interface. My interface is a Tascam US1800, USB interface. It's the older version, I'll leave the newer version down in the description below. But yeah, it's, it's getting the job done. It's getting the job done. It does crash a few times in Logic, and I, I literally would just re-upload Logic Pro, and then it works fine. But uh, yeah, that's some of the issues I'm running into with the Tascam. I've gotten used to it, but yeah, it definitely, from time to time, it'll, it'll crash, 
and then like you won't be able to hear the mics going. You just have to turn it off and then turn it back on and then reset Logic Pro and then you're good to go. So I've gotten it actually used to it. So for my mics, I'm actually mic'd up with the Audix F2 mic pack. I got them on my toms and the bass drum with the overheads. But my snare, I'm using that snare mic for the bottom. You guys have been wondering how I can get a pop and just the, that, that nice sound for the snare. It is this mic right here. It's the Piley mic. It kind of looks like the SM57 mic, but this mic right here is $15. I will leave the link down in the description below. It is $15. This, like, huge shout out to Carlin McCullough. He actually put me on this mic. He has a full playlist of the mics that he uses, actually from this company. Man, it's crazy. It's on his Instagram story. I'll leave his Instagram down in the description below as well. Huge shout out to Colin McCullough. Next up is what I've been using for the live streams that I used to do back in the day. Live streams are actually coming back. I had to work out some issues with the camera and stuff like that, but live streams are definitely coming back. So I use a Pro FX 8 V2 mixer, and I use that with the iRig 2. That's how I usually do the live stream. All right, you guys, so last but not least, the sticks that I use. I use Rhino Burner Signature Sticks by Zildjian, and I also use Vix Perth 8D, all right? Both of them feel crazy comfortable for me. They have great balance, yeah. So these are the go-to sticks for me. It just they just feel crazy comfortable. All right, you guys, so for the big announcement, I am planning on doing giveaways for these symbols here. Why? Because I just recently partnered with Pisces Symbols, all right? I'm joining the Pisces Symbols family. This is gonna be dope. I'm gonna be doing another setup video once all of those symbols arrive here. I'm gonna break down everything. Huge shout out to Pisces for actually contacting me. Huge shout out to Eric Moore for actually dropping my name down to Pisces, telling them about my channel and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. And yeah, joining the Pisces family, so woo! So that's pretty much my whole setup, you guys. Make sure to check out all of the stuff that I mentioned down in the description below. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe. We're on our way to 100K. And look like we're gonna be getting there a lot sooner than I thought. So yeah, keep hitting that like button, keep hitting that subscribe button, and let's keep growing together. I'll see you guys next time.